Hi, this is Amy Whalen. Thanks so much for joining me today at amysinklings.com. Today I wanted to show you how to make this very simple box from scratch. And this particular one I have adorned with our new lovely Botanical Builder Framelit dies. So come join me. Going to need to start with several pieces of cardstock. I'm using Old Olive and this one measures 11 inches by 3 and 1 quarter of an inch. The other piece which is going to be the base of the box measures 5 inches by 3 and 3 eighths of an inch and the designer series paper, this comes from the Botanical Gardens DSP, this one measures four and a half inches by three. Now if this particular box looks familiar then you must be familiar with Angie Judah from My Chicken Scratch. She has some fabulous 3D projects. This basic box design is hers that I'm borrowing. I've just um, designed mine quite differently but it is her box. I'd love to give her credit because she is very talented. Alright, so on the largest piece of Old Olive, you're going to score it at four and three quarters and six and one quarter, and that's right here at the edge of my trimmer. On the smaller piece, you're going to score one inch all the way around, and I'm actually going to use the one inch mark on this side because it's easier to reach. So one inch on every side. Now you've seen me use the Simply Scoring Plate quite a bit, but I wanted to give our Stampin' Trimmer some attention today because it's an excellent scorer as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and burnish on these score lines. This smaller piece, what we're going to do is I want you to snip up on each of these and then I want you to angle cut a little bit of that little piece off. We're going to use some Fast Fuse. I love this adhesive. It takes a little getting used to at first. What I've learned is with Fast Fuse, um, and I don't know how to explain this, but when I put very little pressure on it, it seems to go better than if I'm trying to force it along somewhere. I don't know how to explain that, but um, and if it does get stuck, you just kind of turn it a little bit like that, and then it's good to go. I say that, don't I? <laughs> It's rather late and I'm throwing shadows, but um, I was determined to get some filming done tonight, so bear with me. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this box together. Got a little stuck there. That fast use. I'm speaking kindly of it. I'm going to act it up on me. It is a great adhesive, though, when you're putting together especially boxes or things that will be handled a lot because it's very strong adhesive. Okay, so there's the bottom of the box. You can go ahead and put it in the piece. This time I'm going to use my Tombow glue so that I don't smush the box with my fast fuse. And it just goes right here in the center. There's a little bit of overhang on both sides, and that's all right. So we're just going to press that there. Very good. So let me go ahead and take my large oval punch, it has disappeared. Oh, here it is. And we're going to go ahead and punch one of the handles. I'm just kind of eyeballing that it's equal on both sides. And then we'll use that as a guide to do the other side. That's ready to go. Let's go ahead and add our designer series paper. This is absolutely lovely. I've been using this quite a bit. You know, as a consultant, we get to get a sneak peek of items, and I got the whole botanical garden suite. Um, the design, the whole bundle. The bundle includes the designer series paper, the stamp set, and the framelit dies. 
but it also has some other beautiful embellishments that go along with it. And that's why you've seen me use this quite a bit, because this time when I pre-ordered, I just got a few things. All right, so let's go ahead and punch that out, too. All right, so we're going to um, go ahead and start putting this lovely flower together. And I did this just to save some time. I ran this through my Big Shot ahead of time. If you just press the little holes behind it, they come out. Now this is one of two of the flower dies that um, have that little center part that comes out. Oh, I just think it's so pretty. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and take all of these apart. So I'm going to grab my paper piercing pad and I'm going to take this back and I'm just going to kind of start squishing everything together to make it all fit. We're going to go ahead and tap that down to make that curl. We'll get some glue dots and start putting these together. And we'll go ahead and actually use a little bit of Tombow for this to attach this to the back of the flower. Like that. Isn't that stunning? Oh, that's so pretty. So we can start putting this together. Actually, no, you know what? We have some stamping to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a part of a greeting from Watercolor Wings. This one says just for you, but I'm only going to ink the words for you. And I'm going to use some memento ink. And this one's easy to ink just a partial of it because it is photopolymer, so you can actually see where your pad's going. See, I only inked the just four. And that's not what I wanted. That is hysterical. All right, let's clean that off. What a dork. <laughs> you gotta laugh at yourself sometimes. Just four doesn't make sense as a greeting, does it? Mm-mm, it doesn't. We're going to stamp for you. That makes so much more sense, don't you think? Yeah, it does. And We'll punch that out with the one and three eighths of an inch circle punch. Okay. Next, I'm going to take our one and three quarters of an inch uh, scallop punch and punch one of those. And now we can start putting it all together. All right, the last thing we're going to do is attach some ribbon. And I have a piece of white jute ribbon. And I'm going to simply loop it up and hold it in place with a clothespin so that I can then take some white and black baker's twine to tie a bow. bit of water. And there you go. Let's go ahead and take this off and I'll trim the top. And I am good to go. Let me do that again. There we go. What do you think? Isn't that adorable? Now this one I stamped the greeting in black. This one I stamped it in um, Mossy Meadow. Which one do you like best? I think I like the black best. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you don't currently have a consultant with Stampin' Up, reach out to me at amysinklings at gmail.com. I would love to send you our new catalog. If you'd like to go ahead and place an order, and if you're not already at my website, which is amysinklings.com, then head over here and use the Shop Now button in the upper right-hand corner, and you can place your order now. Now, I mentioned earlier in my tutorial that um, one of the benefits of being a consultant is you get a sneak peek at the product before the general public gets it. But I tell you what, probably the best thing about being a consultant is getting 20 to 25% off discount. It is the reason most people sign up as a consultant. So if you would love a discount on your product, let me know that. I'd love to give you some information and let you decide if it's something for you. I think you would really enjoy it. Thanks again for joining me. Come again soon. Bye-bye.